This is a super short video on the topic of declassify your DJI Mini 4 Pro or any ISC Zero drone before 2024. I posted two videos, one where I went through how you declassify it and one where I went through all the subcategories and classes you have for drones, for example, A1, A2, A3 and C0, C1, etc. And even though I made those videos, things seem to be confusing. There is only one situation when you would like to declassify your drone and that is if you are walking, you are start flying here, you have a hill, you start flying here, you want the drone to follow you while you're walking and then you're walking up this hill and up here you're 120 meters above the takeoff point. A C0 drone is not allowed to be able to fly higher than 120 meters from the takeoff point. If you're walking up 120 meters, that means that you are 120 meters above takeoff point, but regulations allow you to fly 120 meters above ground level, which is a big difference 120 meters from takeoff point. If you don't intend to walk up in a hill where you need to have this capability, don't declassify your drone, there is no reason. And don't even consider to declassify a drone that is above 250 grams if it has a C label, because any drone that is 250 grams and more that becomes declassified is gonna go into A3 category. A3 category means that you can't even fly close to people. It's only drones that are declassified and or don't have any C classification and put on the market before December 31st, 2023, that is allowed to fly in the A1 category. That means that you can fly over people, but not the samples on people. So if you would like to know how you declassify your drone, you can watch that video. And if you would like to know more about the classes, A1, A2, A3, and C0, C1, then you can watch that video. And I hope this really cleared out the confusion if you should declassify your drone or not. Thank you so much for watching.